Hey guys, Akil here, and I want to experiment with a new type of video called Five from the Live Room, where I share with you a five minute clip from our daily live trading room sessions. In today's clip, I want to take a look at the Pound Canada, which is a follow up trade from a few weeks ago during our Bridging the Gap event, where we were looking at an ascending triangle and expecting a bullish breakout. Well, we did get that breakout, and in today's video, I want to share with you how I look to attack that retest of structure and position ourselves to get involved with the next extension higher. Pound Canada on the daily, right? You can see from our previous notes, I'll erase them and draw them back on. We had one of my favorite pattern setups. We had an ascending triangle here. We broke out to the upside. We retraced and now we're pushing back up, right? If you guys remember, this was the one we looked at from uh, or during the Bridging the Gap workshop, right? That was two weeks ago. Sometimes this stuff takes time, right? But you got your breakout, you got your retracement, your retest, and now you're heading back up to the upside. Now, this is again, depending on whether you're conservative or aggressive, you're gonna look at this at two ways, right? There's a higher level to look for right up here around $1.76 that you can shoot for for targets, right? If we take, uh, let's go back to our original deal here. We take kind of a one-to-one -one measured move boom we teamed that up with uh, I believe it was a 127 extension nope 1618 127 would be lower yep and you can see right about right about 176 we have Fibonacci confluence we have the AB equals CD pattern if I draw a horizontal line then you'll also see a move back up the previous structure right the smaller target is right here at the 127, right? Where you have the lower level of our consolidation. So depending on which target level you're looking for, this may or may not be an opportunity for you. If you're very conservative and you're saying, hey, I'm just gonna look for a retest of structure here, you may have no more interest in taking a trade because we've essentially hit that level. If you're someone that's saying, hey, I think we can continue higher, then you still have a lot of room, a lot of space for opportunity. Heading down to the four hour, give us a clear picture of what's going on. Again, that red line is gonna be our 127. Here is the most recent break of structure, right? These were our previous highs. They have been violated. Therefore, if you're looking for a trading opportunity, what can you look for at this level? Peanut butter and jelly. Pull back. Pull back into previous structure. Right? Starting up here at the yellow line, going all the way down technically to about right here, about 17120s, and look for a buying opportunity on the way up. Right? So that's the general idea for this trade. You could look counter trend as well if you hit that red line. Um, but you can worry about that when you get up there. But that could that could be an area for a counter trend trade as well. If that's the case, then you would just essentially flip your perspective. The point in which you would look for the pullback would be the point where you look for targets in that counter trend uh, short trade. Going down to the hourly, right? We'll just continue to give us a clearer picture. Again, here's a good example of that RSI being overbought, right? Showing us strength in the market. Let's head down to the 15. And the five. So you can see if you're a day trader, you're starting to get a little bit of a pullback already. As always, the lower the time frame you go to, the more the the more opportunities you typically get. Usually you find a few different levels you can look for. And if you want to look over at a range bar chart here, maybe smooth this picture out a little bit, right? There we go. You can see a nice ebb and flow here on the range bar. Much clearer places to look for um, buying opportunities. That's, that's what I love about the range bars, right? So take a look at this five minute chart. If you have a finely tuned eye, you can probably find the pullbacks and the place to look for um, buying opportunities, correct? If you don't have a finely tuned eye, it's probably you're like, um, uh, maybe in here, right? What I like about the range bar is it just gives a different perspective. Most of the time it's smoother, not all the time, but 
you can see a very smooth ebb and flow here, right? We have a nice pullback here, right? You got your nice clear pullback here, right? So you have clear levels, right? Zone one and zone two, right? Clear levels on where you can look for a pullback to happen. 